Hello, this is Nathaniel Moore uh, with GuaranteedProfit.com and our focus on this video right now is going to be for those of us that are interested in customer segmentation because our customers are the heart and the life of our businesses and it's those individual companies that have either forgotten that or never realized that or um, just don't know how to leverage that that are going to be failing here in the years to come if they haven't already in these uh, rapidly changing times. And it's the companies that are going to follow these next three steps that I'm about to share with you um, that are going to be owning the marketplaces, whether it be globally or locally, simply because they're using two-way communication tools like social media properly to get the right information and to also create the right types of relationships with their customers. So first off, we have to be able to continually get feedback from our customers on how we should be doing business with them. Now, most companies are doing this the wrong way or they're doing this not nearly as effectively as they could because they are doing things like if somebody is um, you know live with someone with you know in the pr uh, purchasing process whether that be with a with uh, over the phone or whether that be um, right in front of someone and they're making a purchase they might hand someone a card and say hey take the survey or go to this place and take the survey or if you just hang on the line for a minute and take the survey then you know XYZ well that's great and all but what we want to make sure that we're doing is not is making sure that our customers when we're trying to um, get feedback from them we want to make sure that we're doing one of a, one of a couple things we're either making it as simple as possible and part of the actual process that they would be engaging in anyways an example of this might be um, before the cus before before the customer service rep hangs up the phone just asking them the question or two that it was intended through the survey and then letting them go or maybe on an opt-in form or when someone is uh, double opting in or, or uh, going to their email to go ahead and check um, something specific that they have to check in order to confirm an order then having those two questions being part of that process At, those are just a couple examples but you can see that if you just make it part of the process that it you're going to gather a lot more data doing that way at least that's our experience um, secondly if you can make it fun we're noticing that when if you can make it fun or a game then you're getting we're getting customer participation that way but of course it depends on our uh, ideal target market uh, on how well that really works so remember when it comes to getting feedback from our customers what we want to make sure that we're doing is that of course first we know which questions to ask and secondly we know how to either make them fun and um, in a way that it's engaging the customer or making them part of the checkout process um, after of course the, pro the the checkout has been made but before, before um, without ever shifting gears because again our customers don't want to think any more than they have to and they don't want to do any more than they have to in order to um, get the result that they want. Now so that's the first part. Now as we ask question, great questions and as we are monitoring conversations that will give us the opportunity to segment, seg segment segment is that a real word I don't know if that this should be we're going to be able to um, <laughs> segment both our prospects and our customers into very specific categories which is massively important because what we'll notice is as we listen to our customers really well we'll find that they will fit in certain categories and certain categories certain categories will trend one category might be more profitable than the other. One category might buy for longer periods of time. One category might buy um, larger chunks of uh, or uh, larger volumes at one time of your product or service. So it, you really want to consider and think through who each each who is basically a composite model of each one of those specific categories. And just so you know, it might shift and change over time. But the main thing is to have an idea of who they are because what that is going to do is that's going to form your offers. That's going to shift your services. Um, ser that's going to help you design specific packages and specific marketing material to speak to a very specific person. Which of course in this time of over communication and too much is when too much is going on with your customers. To be able to cut through all the noise you want to be able to speak directly to that person. And you want them to be massively interested in what you have to offer. And the only way to really do that is to fully understand who they are. And if you have multiple products and multiple services and multiple ways um, to, or multiple opportunities for them to buy, then you want to make sure that you are definitely categorizing each one of your customers. And so if you ask these questions correctly, you ask them at the right time and in the right way, and then you segment your, 
your list or your customer list and your prospects list, what you're going to find is that it's your customer that's building your products and your services. It's your customer that's building the actual experience that they're having with you. It's your customer that's building your marketing material. So what happens after a while, it's actually your customer that's building your business. And I have to tell you, it's really hard to fail um, in business if your customers bit it, built it. If it's the individual that is going to give you the money, if it's their complete most ideal situation, you're going to separate yourself from all the rest that aren't really listening. And so, um, as you can imagine, if your customers are building your business, then you might have a little bit more, a little bit more profit at the end of the month. So, um, I hope you've got, were able to use the value that's in this video. And if you have any questions about it, of course, you can ask them at guaranteedprofit.com. And of course, remember that our businesses only grows, grow as quickly as we do. So, if there's anything we can do for you here at guaranteedprofit.com, make sure you just stop by and ask. So, have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.